Hey everyone, how's it going? So I just want to show you this real quick. This is a Tesla Model Y after 400 miles on the highway. Check this out. Look at all those bugs that hit the front end of the Tesla Model Y. If you're not familiar with Tesla Model Y or even S, X, or 3, they have a huge surface area in the front. The reason why is there's no grill. There's no grill that is required for these vehicles because there's no radiator and Tesla paint, they're also a super thin. So any rock chip, it will just eat right through. Potentially you will see your black bumper if you have a lighter color vehicle and you can risk rusting up your car because it's not fully aluminum for the Y or the three, only the S and X are full aluminum. But you know, having rock chip will devalue the price of your vehicle when you try to resell it later on. Fortunately on this vehicle, we have paint protection film from Expel Ultramic Plus. This will protect any asset from these bugs penetrating the clear coat. And yes, these bugs are acidic. It will eat through your clear coat and into your paint, and then eventually it will be flaky if you don't wash this off right away after any road trip, especially if it's baking in the sun. So it is pricey. This is one recommendation we highly highly recommend any Tesla owner after delivery get PPF installed for the front end whether it's partial or full front here we have a full front coverage covering the front the bumper headlights mirror caps fenders and fog lights we don't have to worry about cleaning this off right away or anytime soon it will be able to withstand any pressure washer to clean this off also rock chips is prone to damage this front end especially with this flat surface area. So the PPF will self heal if any rocks hit it. Unfortunately, on the Model 3, we have SunTech, which is not holding up well. We will be redoing that. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell, stay tuned. We're going to do the whole process ourselves because to have this installed by someone else, it can range up to $2,000 for a full front, which I think if you own the vehicle for some time and you want to hold a value because to repaint the whole front bumper, it's already like $1,500. The front is about another thousand, the fender another thousand, and the headlights, it may turn yellow eventually if you don't put the film. So again, the film protects against UV, yellowing, any damage to clear coat. And I found this company and I'll post a link where you can check them out but I, I have a code where you can get 20% off if you purchase in the US with the conversion rate. It is a Canadian company. Uh, you can save up to 70%. They are a certified Expel installer, but they also do pre-cut ship to your house for yourself to install. Now, you might be concerned that, okay, I, I don't know how to install it. But he also has a YouTube channel to show you how to install these PPF Expel Ultimate Plus on vehicle, not just for Tesla, but for all vehicles. And he can ship it to directly to your house. And it's one third the cost. And with the promo code, you can be saving a lot more than trying to pay $2,000. And if you really want to protect your vehicle and your purchase, definitely get PPF. The installation process it is tedious, but if you're patient enough, you can save over one third the cost. And they also sell PPF to cover to cover up the pillars, the doors, the rear end. So you can actually wrap the whole car yourself for one third the price. But I only recommend just the front and maybe the quarter panel uh, on the door right there. And that should give you the full protection. Anything else is just extra. Of course, if somebody accidentally can key your car, um, if you have that paint protection fill, it won't penetrate and it will self heal. So just, trying to share this uh, with the Tesla community. Hopefully you find this helpful, especially if you're on the market for Expel PPF and you're comfortable installing it. Again, it's do it yourself. He has a YouTube channel that show you step-by-step -step how to do it. Very helpful. And we'll be doing that on our Model 3. We'll be posting up more videos on that project. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button and we'll keep you all posted on how it goes. Take care.